So in the past, I've gotten a lot of my Lego Star Wars deals and clearance from stores like Target, Walmart, eBay, even sometimes Bricklink, but I've never dived into actually one of the biggest online third-party reseller markets, and that's Facebook Marketplace. Now, Facebook's a little different. You buy it from individual people and not from like a store, so it's a little risky in my opinion, but I figured why not give it a try. I came across a seller who was selling a bunch of LEGO Star Wars minifigures um, that I will be unboxing today. Now, before I get onto this unboxing, guys, I am actually trying to grow my eBay store so that way after college, it can not only sustain me, but also provide funds for projects like N or and other future endeavors and stuff like that. So I did buy these minifigures at about two and a half dollars or so each, which is pretty good considering what we actually have in here. But I'll leave a link down below to my eBay store if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, give it some exposure, feedback, let me know what you guys think. So in here, I believe should be about 164 or 166 minifigures that I bought for about two and a half dollars each. So I'm pretty excited. These are all used. Um, again, this is from just an individual person. So this is my first Facebook marketplace, you know, sort of haul. So. We're gonna try it out and see how it turns out. If I could find a way to open this box, that would be beautiful. Oh my God, packed it really, really well. No other easier way to open this? You know what? Oh my God, I can't even cut this thing. Then. Just so you know, this is not how you guys should be opening a box, but whatever. Oh my Lord. finally. Doesn't smell like anything too. I've always been wary about ordering uh, Lego figures from other sellers, especially if they smoke and it has like an odor, but Smells pretty good. So let's get this bubble wrap on open here. And this guy did hook it up pretty well. Like I said, about two and a half dollars a figure, especially with some of the figures that he was able to provide. It's a really good deal. This is by far the most mini figures I've ever gotten uh, in one haul. Holy crap. This is what 160 mini figures uh, looks like here. So give me a second. Let me set all these up on a base plate for you guys to see what I got. Um, and then I'll catch you guys in just a second. All right, so I got everything set up in about like 15 minutes. Uh, it turns out there are quite a few of these minifigures that are either way too dirty to be even used by me or put up on the store, but also a bunch that are just not matching. Um, this is obviously something I was made aware of when I did make the purchase, but you can see like this minifigure right here. This is a little, a little ridiculous here. It's like bitten and shooed off on the bottom, you guys can see. So that's a little bit weird. I'm probably gonna reach out and just ask about that. But then there are a whole bunch of mismatched figures right here. Like you can see like none of these parts right here go together. Um, which is kind of weird. Also, you can see the Stormtrooper just does not have the right pieces of gear. So overall, I mean, I still got the majority of figures. They are all in pretty good condition. There are a lot of good ones too. Um, for instance, like we have a Palpatine one from OG, OG days, which is really, really cool. We also have an Obi-Wan from the Clone Wars, which is nice. So there are a lot of pretty good minifigures uh, in this lot. Or a bunch of Mandalorians, uh, Senate Commandos, and stuff like that, which is nice. So overall, I mean, for two and a half dollars each, I think the droids, I definitely lost money. It did come with two Magna droids, which is actually really cool. I've never owned these before, which is nice. It's really awesome. Grievous, there are some other really, really cool figures and probably pretty expensive figures in this lot. So overall, not too bad. I mean, I'll have to wait and see, obviously, which ones I keep, which one I do list, and hopefully I can make my money back a little more to fun Endor. But overall, my first Facebook Marketplace experience is, has been pretty good. I will obviously say if you are buying used minifigures, just be careful. Make sure you ask them, you know, can they stand? Are there any bite marks? Uh, something like that. But overall, first experience has been pretty good, so I give it overall a thumbs up. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Of course, drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. We'll be back with some more content coming soon. I'll See you later. Take it easy. Peace.